Good evening. Millions across the West are once again suffering through excessive heat this weekend, and it is brutal. It's the fourth heat wave since Memorial Day and follows the country's hottest June on record. An all-time high temperature could be set in Las Vegas today, and places like Palm Springs, Salt Lake City, and even Glasgow, Montana, are feeling temperatures in the triple digits. CBS's Lilia Luciano is beating the heat at the pool in Los Angeles. Lilia, good evening. Good evening to you, Adriana. With those triple-digit temperatures expected in parts of California, officials here are telling people to find shade, stay hydrated, and avoid outdoor strenuous activities. Tonight, a blistering heat wave is scorching the western U.S. The record-breaking temperatures made worse by extreme drought and exploding wildfires. Feels like I'm walking into an oven when I walk outside. Tens of millions are now under heat advisories and warnings. In Canada, studies show the heat may have killed over a billion sea creatures. Scientists this week warned that human-caused climate change is accelerating events like last week's one-in-a-thousand-year heat wave. It seems like we keep breaking records in terms of heat. Can we expect more of that in the future? We expect that global warming will increase the odds and the magnitude of events such as this going forward in the coming decades. Washington and Oregon have issued new emergency orders to protect farm workers exposed to record temperatures. The heat has killed more than 160 people in the two states. Also alarming, this summer's wildfires. Tonight, Oregon's bootleg fire is raging out of control, forcing evacuations. And California's largest wildfire this year, the Beckworth Complex, has now doubled in size. This as a drought impacts 100% of the state. Because of that drought and the heat, California's governor is asking residents to cut back on both their water and their power usage. Adriana. Lila Luciano, stay cool. Thank you.